Hi, this is Asin. Today, I would like to share how to use message box with conditions. Let's use this to illustrate what happens if user answer correctly and what happens if user answer wrongly. Okay, so we go to developer tab, look for Visual Basic. The question here is 1 plus 1, meaning to say the correct answer is 2. This is message box, meaning to say this is the second sheet. So I will put this good in the second sheet. Okay, so we start with a title of the project. So let's say this is to be a message box. The correct answer is equal to 2, so we put condition here so if sheet 2 dot cells sheet 2 row 2 column 2 equal to 2 then means that this is the correct answer so we promote message box then see that the answer is correct then then so I have one say the answer is wrong so we use the case else because not correct must be wrong not wrong must be correct we just have two situations here so we don't have to use else if so else for this case we have to make use of the message box to have special buttons and we record what the user react so we use a to record the reaction a b message boss for this case we have to make use of bracket without bracket we can just simply from the message box without recording what will the user react with we bracket then we can record so we have the answer is wrong okay how let's say we would like to have extra information to check for what the user will react okay save and close file okay so let's say we have this okay since this is raw and we would like to show a cross symbol then we can make use of we be critical if we would like to have special button we would like to have special add ins then we just have just have to press the plus key on the keyboard then we be yes so we have we be yes no here remember do not use too many add-ins if not the use the message box won't run correctly okay so the title please indicate your action Okay, so done for this. Then we write the condition. So if A is equal to V B yes, means that we can close already. We can save and close. So we have application dot active workbook. dot save since the user instructed to save and close so application dot quick okay so this is already done so how let's say we have a equal to we be no or we can simply write else then automatically we will look for no because we just have two options one is yes one is no okay then so for this case i will record another case so we have message box again for this case i will ask for refine if yes 
then of course we must have the VB we try button and then also please indicate your action okay so done already now another if so if b is equal to we be retry so if suppose nothing will happen then we just leave it then we go to else or we just do for the one that we need extra action so for example like we want we be cancer okay so when the user cancer previously selected no means that don't want save don't want close then one retry don't want if so one then we just lock the cell okay make sure all the cells is being locked if let's say we know that all the cells are being locked then we just instruct the excel to protect the sheet so that user are not allowed to edit protect then we type the password one two three for example then this the user not allowed to edit okay if let's say we try we should not have anything happen because the user would like to retry okay so we start with if we end with if we start with if of course begin and with if and also we start with if and we end with if so all together we have three and if okay done already now let's go back to the excel if we would like to have a command button to let the user to check the answer after it's being done then we just look for active x controls under developer under insert then we insert a command button so for this command button of course we can design so look for properties then we can change the caption for example to check answer then of course we can change to desire font size and font type so times new normal for example bold and size 12 so the color also we can change to others okay once it's already done then we just double click so we can see that the command button one click so meaning to say when the command button is being clicked then the could under here would be executed so we just cut all this and then we paste in so it means that when user click on the button then we'll check for the answer and look for the action required then the one that not related we just remove okay so now let's check what happened so we can uncheck the design mode so that we can click on the button so for example if let's say one plus one okay so i think it's five so i can five then now let's check so the answer is wrong save and close how let's say item one okay retry yes i would like to retry so as we can see we still can add it so maybe like we put in it to two the correct answer okay check again so the answer is correct so nothing will happen so how let's say we enter again with the, the wrong answer the wrong answer so we have okay again wrong the wrong sign is being shown here and then we would like to indicate the action so save and close okay no again then cancel so what happened so can we add it so for example like I now want to put it as 5 so as we can see the cell is being protected so we are not allowed to change anymore okay so we change back to the normal place so I'm protect one two three okay now we should be able to add it again so already I did it 
Okay, now check again. So now we look, look for save and close file. So yes. So save and close. So again. We have. Okay, so no retry. So we still be able to retry. So let's say we would like to instruct the user to unprepare the cell. We can add it here, or if let's say you want to would like to learn how to auto prepare auto lock the cell, you can click on the link given in the description below. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.